time to review one of my favorite games of all time, Jet Set Radio Future. The game itself is a sequel to its predecessor, Jet Set Radio, and in my opinion is as good if not better than its predecessor. The game was a launch title for the original Xbox, but man, it doesn't show. The cell shading done in the game gives it a timeless comic book feel, but not like the original. You see, Jet Set Radio was like a big neo color filled comic book that had very solid colors. Jet Set Radio Future has more blended colors and shadows while keeping some of the neon in fusion. This keeps the game looking real, but not realistic, fun but not kid friendly. This gives in a different look form of the original while being connected slightly. I honestly like the style of Jet Set Radio Future a bit more than Jet Set Radio. As for the music, holy shit, it's good. Hideki Nakamura topped the already iconic songs he's made in the Jet Set Radio and then some. This is the soundtrack you would listen to if you want to jam out. The music hypes you up from the title screen with the concept of love playing as different GGs skate around. Jet Set Radio Future to me is a reboot of Jet Grind Radio. However, the story shares very few things between them. I won't spoil anything because any Jet Set Radio fan should have the experience of playing this game. The main reason is because this game not only has a great story, but is also a massive salute to fans. Characters will pop up in the least likely places, and new favorites will come in and join your team. The story also takes turns that may surprise you, with new gangs, new places, and best of all, the music. The game levels are massive. They normally take place in massive different areas, from crowded residential districts to top death sewers inside an infused machine. This is a lot to explore if you want to unlock everything and unlock everyone. Now for the controls, they are smooth and silk. They took the movement from the first game and just smoothened it out. The big addition is the Instra Graffiti. You no longer wiggle the stick in motion of spray. Now you just pull the trigger, tag and move. This helps the speed of the game and also helps save some spray cans. As good as the game is, I wish there was a lot more bigger areas. This is because if I get stuck, I have to listen to the same two or three songs on repeat. One time when I was a kid, I got stuck on a level for two hours and ended up hating the music of that level. Now I love it because a bit more variety would have helped, but other than that, a few glitches, I don't really have any problems with the game. In conclusion, I love this game, and so do many people. It's a shame Sega hasn't really thought of making a new Jet Set Radio game, or hasn't hinted an HD remake of a Jet Set Radio Future, so now we're just stuck to just playing it on the original Xbox, or the Xbox One if you own these two consoles. This game is an absolute gem, and deserves every fan's bit of praise it receives. Like I said, it's one of my favorite games of all time, and if Sega ever decides to make a new Jet Set Radio game, you can be assured that I will automatically put this game on my most anticipated games list, because I love this franchise, and it deserves to be revived. Jet Set Radio Future gets a 10 out of 10. This is Red Wolf signing out, and I'll see you next time. Peace.